Hey, what's going on? I'm Tia Moore. And I'm Mandy Giroux. And we're here at the finals for the first season of Internet Icons. And tonight we find out who the winner is, so we're really excited, so make sure you stay tuned. There it is. Come on down. Come on down. Hey. Oh, my bad. Hey. All right. That's what you know is real, folks, right there. Team Morgan, ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a round of applause. All right. So how you guys feeling? Are you guys excited about tonight? But excited to see everybody be back at the finale. How you guys feeling about it? Really good. We're really excited to see who's gonna win. Yeah, who's gonna win? Rydell or, or Lana? Rydell or Rana? Who's it gonna be? Rana. Who? Yeah. Rana? Rydell? Lana's over there. It's very exciting. It is very exciting. I know that we, we love them both. We love them both, so. Okay. Now, like, now, the effort that you guys put into making the Facebook video, I'm sorry, the YouTube videos yes, for Internet Icon, do you guys always put that in, or was it just a little extra with it, a little extra push with the, the, the Internet Icon going on? How do you guys feel about that? Oh, I don't know. I feel like we always kind of try to... We had less time for the Internet Icon videos. There was a lot more, like, pressure with the Internet Icon videos. And so sometimes that works in your favor, because you have less time to think about it and just go, and sometimes... It's yeah. nice to be able to take your time. I think Internet Icon gave us a little bit more of a push just in general because before we were doing either little or no videos and with our Internet Icon process we were doing a lot more videos and with higher production value and like being able to pick people's brains and watch the other videos of the amazing contestants and sort of steal their really awesome ideas. Yes. yes. It's and all about... <laughs> we both learned to edit. Wow, yeah. editing is probably the most difficult part of the video processing. I know coming up with an idea is very easy. How difficult was it for you guys to learn the editing process and master it in that small amount of time that they gave you? Master it? He just said we mastered oh. the editing. Wow, that's, a, that's wow. great to hear. Thank I'm very you. generous with my words, ladies and gentlemen. Very generous. Well, I say, uh, Matt um, learned first, okay. and he's still the best yeah. at it. I am not. Well, they carried you, away, but Thank it's you. true. It's true. He learned first, and he you knew how to edit a little bit before. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. Um, but that was like crash course, you know, because we were doing it every day, and then we were seeing edits and cuts in other people's videos, and it was like, how do you do that? I want to learn how to do that. But since then, <clears throat> Heidi has shot and edited uh, the last two videos that we have posted on oh, our YouTube snap. page. So let's hear it for Heidi Brucker, ladies and gentlemen. Swag. Swag. Yeah, Swag. Yeah, 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 Swerve. Yeah. All right, awesome guys. So, yeah. really quick, um, if you guys had to pick, who do you guys think is going to be the internet icon winner? If you guys said right now on the spot, who do you think is going to be? Team Morgan! Yeah! yeah. Team Morgan! Oh. Wait, are we, are we not? No, 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 guys. Let me make some noise for Foo Music! Yeah. My man, how you doing? Hi. All right. Hi. I'm good, brother. How are you guys doing tonight? Hi. You guys feeling tonight? How are you? Good. I'm feeling great. All right. I'm excited. excited. This is his excited face. I'm excited, guys. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah! yeah! All right, guys. So we are here at the finals right now. You get to see everybody. I got to ask you the tough questions. Who do you think is going to take it tonight? Who do you think? I think it's going to either be Lana or the Brothers Rydell. Yeah, I think, I mean, one of them. One of the have two. To, have to. One of the two. These guys are very classes. You guys are very good. You're escape artists of getting around the questions. Uh, guys, tell us one of the most memorable things that about the Internet Icon experience for you and maybe something that you wish the cameras had caught. You know, honestly, it was all the behind-the-scenes moments with the other contestants. Right. I mean, just the friendships that grew and the relationships, all the downtime that we were just hanging out. That's, that's where all the uh, magic happened. Yeah, you kind of see as the show goes on, like, us getting to know each other better, but you don't really see it, like, actually happening. You just see, oh, wait, they're they're shaking hands now, and they're hugging each other now. How did that happen? There it is. A lot happened. I liked it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Damon Wins! <laughs> My man!
<laughs> what's up? What's up, brother? How you doing? All right, I'm great, man. I'm great. So, man, we're here at the Internet Icon Finals tonight. Tell us what's on your mind. What's going on? Your guests here. What's yeah. going on? You got big things in the, in the future. Tell us what's going on with you. Okay, well, the first thing I got to say is uh, for all of you guys that watched me on the Icon special on YouTube, I am not an asshole. They asked me to be mean, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the nice way-ins. I am rooting for these guys. I think they're all incredible. I think you got two great finalists, and I'm excited. There it is, man. So uh, what projects can we look for from the future from Damon Wayans? Well, we have a show called Second Generation that's okay. coming out in the fall on BET. It's about us coming out of the shadows of our famous siblings, making our own way into Hollywood. So tune in. There it is. You know it is. So, uh, what about YouTube? You got any videos floating out there that they need to look out? What about your uh, channel? Yeah, actually, I'm doing a YouTube series right now. It's called That's a Friend. Uh, the basic premise is we all got friends. We all wonder how ride or die they are. We wonder how loyal they are. So this is the show that's going to put that to the test. And we're back. We're back on the red orange carpet. I got to get the colors right. I messed up. It's okay. Guys, give it up right now for Ari Coaster and Bridge Stewart coming on down. We have the directors of MoFo and BFF. Make some noise. <laughs> How you guys doing? Get on in here, man. Let's slide it in. Let's slide it in. Slide it in. All right. Good, good, good. So what's going on, man? How you doing tonight? Good. How you feeling? I feel good. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I believe him. I don't know if I believe him. How about you? How you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. Okay. A little more believable. And you, young lady, looking beautiful in the middle? Feeling absolutely fabulous. Okay. There it is. So you guys have new shows coming off on Yum Yum Elf. Uh, tell us a little bit about your shows and uh, things that you're excited about seeing from your shows. I think we're talking about BFFs right now, which is a uh, bridge actually okay. created. Okay. Uh, BFF is basically a series. It's four girls in high school who are uh, raising hell, basically. And uh, yeah, it's a good time, a lot of craziness, a lot of edge. I think you'll enjoy watching it. Okay, so don't say you missed it, all right? I don't want to hear that. I swear we're not, we're not that mean in person. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what about you? What do you got going on? What's it we look out for you from? Uh, I have a show that we're uh, shorting to MoFo for right now. And uh, it's about a guy who comes uh, home from the Peace Corps, finds out that his best friend has married his mother. So, wow. Uh, very unique spin on a kind of traditional comedy. Okay, yeah, I would kill my best friend if he married my mom. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Just like that, we're back on the orange carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the guy you've all been waiting for, Mr. Justin James Hughes, ladies and gentlemen. Come on over here. Get, get, your, get your handsome self over here. What's going on? What is Flavor Monster? Man, I guess you just don't have the weight to find out about Flavor. Do you guys know about Flavor Monster? Yeah. You guys know all about it? How do they know and you don't know you have the inside of school? Because I am way dumber than I am. I can believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> let's learn a little bit about Justin. Justin, tell us about your experience with Internet Icon, what you took from it, maybe something that you wish the cameras had called, or what you look forward to seeing tonight. What I wish the cameras hadn't caught was uh, usually I'll start talking before I think about what I'm gonna say. So, and they catch it all when you're on a reality show. And um, I, I, I kinda like being in charge of my own edits so I can make myself not look as bad. Uh, so I didn't really have that opportunity on the show, but um, no, Internet Icon was great. It was a great uh, experience and I got to work with some really cool people, so. That's awesome, man. Justin, tonight, if you had to pick right now, who do you think would take it? Uh, literally, I still think I have a shot. Okay. All right. Well, Justin is delusional. Uh, <laughs> Justin, I got a question. If Monsters had a first name, what do you think it would be? Monsters? If a monster had a first name, what do you think it would be? Clarence. Clarence. Okay. All right. I guess Clarence is a nice monster name. Coming to the orange carpet, make some noise for Daysa. Get on in here, man. Get on in here, guys. Come on. Come on. All 12 of you guys right here. Dayside rode in on one scooter, guys. All four of them on one scooter from New York. Guys, tell us about your internet icon experience, uh, the ups, the downs, maybe something you wish the camera had caught. Um, I wish they saw our, our good side. Yeah. <laughs> it was a blessing, and then we had so much fun. We all have fun at the end. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. I wish they caught the table, though. They didn't catch the table yeah. right there. They didn't catch it properly, the actual part right there. It was off camera. Yo, that, that, first of all, that camera, literally, the table breaking was so tense. Like, when they came in and found out the table, what were you guys thinking when the camera broke? Like, 
crying because I thought Chester was going to break my back. You know, that, he told me it was his table, so okay. that was not good. We thought that we were going to be eliminated right there, right then. That's why we're like, oh, that's why our first video kind of sucked. Sorry. Now I have a question for you and get to the tough stuff. Uh, you guys skated through the first round. You made it on. Uh, what did it feel like when you guys actually did have to leave in that icon? How was that experience for you? Sad. <laughs> yeah, it was very sad. I almost committed suicide, but I'm still alive. <laughs> it was okay, because you know what? We had a great experience. We made a lot of friends, and it was a great experience. It was a blessing. Yeah. There it is. Uh, Justin James Hughes, you know, he's next door. Yo, that's always a blessing. His abs, yeah. come on, it was awesome. That's, uh, that's always a blessing to see Justin with his shirt off. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the orange carpet right now, please make some noise for Cal Hayes. Yeah, Come on down here, Cal. Make some noise. Come on down here. Got your shirt tucked yeah, in. Hello. Looking Hello. dapper as can be. Cal, tell us about your internet experience. Maybe something you took for, from it, something you wish the cameras had called. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I, uh, I was on the internet, and I thought, this is cool, because when I was little, I just browsed the internet. And so now I'm on the internet, and it's like this surreal experience. I'm like, am I on drugs, or is this really happening? Okay. But then I remembered, I don't do drugs. So, yeah. So that was, uh, that's pretty good. You got, you're on the internet now. Uh, tell us, how difficult was it to perform a quality video under the time constraints that you have with Internet Icon? I'm still... I'm still kind of rejuvenating. It was so emotionally challenging. I'm not even kidding. Like, I was exhausted. I was, I was skipping meals, and I wasn't getting good sleep. But it was so much fun that I was like, this is worth it. I don't care if I'm dead at the end of the show. Like, this is how I want to die. This is how I want to die to here on the internet. That's, that's pretty intense, Kyle. That is, that is intense, to say the least. Uh, <laughs> how did it feel when you actually had to leave? Like, I, I know everybody has a different experience with that. How was your take on your experience when you actually got booted off the show? Well, it was sad because I had to go home and I, I didn't get to hang out with my friends, you know, and because we became such good friends. And so it was like, it was like when you're young and your mom calls and she's like, "You got to come home. It's time for bed." And I was like, "Really, mom? I'm 21 years old, and you're still telling me what, when to go to bed?" That's what it was like. It was like going, yeah. And that's actually the first thing I did was take a nap because I was exhausted. So. Yeah, I can believe that. All right, cool, man. Real quick, if monsters had a first name. What do you think a monster's first name will be? What's a good first name for a monster? Oh, man. Um, I, I think a good monster name would be like, to hear. Like, to hear more. You know? Okay. Like, I can see people screaming in the streets, to hear, run. And then to hear comes down the street and, okay. and eats everybody. I don't know if I like your answer, man. So <laughs> All right. So you guys are casters. Come on over. Let's slide down a little bit. Let's make room for everybody. Make room. All right. Wow. So the gang of you guys, you guys came in like a real squad, man. It's a squad 85, guys, book club, 12H. All right. Now I heard you're a personality on both shows. How's that like? Yeah, bridging the gap between the two. We did uh, Guys Book Club. We filmed all in July. And we're just missing our one cohort, Danny Pudi, because he's filming a TV show, you know. But yeah. TV show, really? Seriously, he needs to be on the internet. That's where it's at. And then here's uh, the Squad 85, the creator, Greg Chris, and the star, Slark. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So uh, really quick, if you guys could give us just a breakdown of the type of show, or someone could give us a breakdown of the show so the fans know what to look forward to. Uh, the Book Club is an action-adventure comedy about a group of guys getting together to do what guys do, read stuff. And, uh, but somehow, through no fault of their own, every time they get together to have this book club, Stuff goes terribly wrong. That sounds like a great adventure. I got to squad to Squad 85 really quick. Tell me a little bit about Squad 85. Well, in 1985, the Los Angeles Police Department had an experimental time travel division sending four of their finest 25 years into the future. And that future is now. And so, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to check it out. Hey, what's up? I just wanted to see what it felt like to be an audience member. I'm going to get back on where I need to be right now. Sorry. I'm probably gonna get fired for that. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. But right now, I know this. We have some amazing talent coming to the orange carpet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for YTL and fall in, kids! Oh my god! Oh my god! How are you? Oh my god! It's Chanel. Oh my god! Hi. Hi. Come on in here, guys. Get on in here. Get on in here. 
get on in here. All right, we got YTF, we got Fallen Kings, we have Dietrich himself, he's in the building, and we got Mr. Andy Garcia, Mr. Yeah. American Idol himself, season eight. How you guys doing tonight? How you guys feeling tonight? We're good. We, we're good. You, you were way more excited in, 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 in your comment than you were in your actual video. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, so tell me what's next for Dietrich, what's next for uh, Andy Garcia, what's next for YTF and Fallen Kings? What's going on, guys? Uh, well, basically, uh, YTF, we got a two-week uh, tour coming up for the East Coast in uh, early October. Andrew Garcia, myself, Victor King, uh, J.R. Aquino, and Ryan Higa. And uh, for Fallen Kings, this is our B-Boy crew from back home from SAC that me and Victor are part of. Um, and we're just going to keep entering B-Boy battles and stuff. So a lot of stuff that's coming up for the future. Awesome. All right, so you, you guys were guest judges on Internet Icon. What was that experience like for you? Why was it important to you? What did you feel like you added to it? Um, I feel like for me, for uh, judging, it was like just a huge honor because we're students ourselves in the Internet game. And uh, to see up-and-coming artists like yourself on YouTube, and, and it's just inspiring to us to see how much you guys do in so little time and how amazing your content is. So uh, it was just an honor to be there. It was fun to be on the other side of the judging panel, not to be judged. So I was like, this is easy. I just got to let them know what they did wrong and just uh, hope they don't do it again. <laughs> awesome, awesome, guys. Really quick, last question. Uh, we'll go straight down the line. If a monster had a first name, what would that first name be? Let's go. Uh, uh, Stop Smiggy, subscribe. <laughs> Morris.com. Uh, Kareem. Um... No, it's um. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crystal. Peter. Peter. I think Peter was the best one. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up right now for Mr. Joey Hill. Come on now there, Joey. Joey, my man. How you feeling tonight, man? Are you excited to be back to see everybody for the finals? Of course, of course. We love everyone out here. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, Unfortunately, I don't think that was for you. I think Chester just spoke to you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Me and Joy share a personal relationship because we both were the first ones to leave on the first elimination. Yes, we were the first one. Joy, how did you feel about that, honestly, though? I, was, I mean, I was bummed, but I mean, you see the other people on the show. You see, they're, they're great. So. It's just a matter of time before it happened to us. It's all good, man. Yeah. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up right now, Mr. Chester C. Oh, Chester, let me put you in the middle, man. We want to share you. We're so excited about this. So, Chester, you were the host, the first host for the first season of Internet Icon. How much pressure was that? It was so much pressure that I get camera shot at a time, like right now. It's the most awkward smile ever. You get that award, man. Uh, how was this experience for you? What did it mean to you to be able to, to do this, for you, this, this Internet Icon and be the first one, the first host of the first season? I, um, it was an honor. It was an honor because uh, obviously coming from the Yami Mep side as well, uh, this was our, our big show and, and we weren't expecting it to be as successful as it has been. I mean, I, I, maybe some people were. I, I, we were. I was blown away with the amount of support and love that the fans kind of uh, brought to the table. Um, so to be a part of that, yeah, it meant at the world. It was really cool. I'm, I'm so happy to be a part of it. Yeah. There it is. Chance, the last question from me. If a monster had a first name, what would it be? It would be to hear. Okay, that's the wait, second wait, time wait. I heard. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Monsters aren't. It doesn't mean a monster is a bad thing. Because uh -huh. you, because you, you like, it's like, it's like, it's like you a monster. Like it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like to hear oh. a monster. So man. M O N S T A in a yeah. good way. Oh, like, yeah, exactly. Okay. Like, okay. Like, gotcha. Yeah, you heard to hear because here's a monster. Like, there it is. Yeah. I like how you play. You know what? Give it a hug for that right there. I'm all in. What's going on, Marla? How are you feeling tonight? You excited to be at the finals? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's so fun up there at the VIP section that you guys can't go to. Ah, this guy right here. Aww. Now, Marlon, you are the youngest contestant on the show. What was it like competing against people? Uh, what was it like competing against people that were kind of older, more experienced with it? How was that experience for you? Oh, well, I was definitely honored. I was, like, really honored and humbled to be there. It was really fun and, like, a learning experience on there. And I couldn't ask for anything better. It was, like, film school times 10. It was crazy. That's awesome. Tell us a little bit about the shirt you're wearing tonight, oh, man. The shirt I'm wearing is a brand new shirt from truth.org, is it, or is it the truth? And I believe I can flip it inside out to show some sort of mask. What's going on, man? How you doing today? How you feeling tonight? What's up? How that are just you? happened, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that just happened. Bam, yeah.
Yeah. All right, so tell us uh, about your experience with Internet Icon. You were a special guest. How was that for you? How did you feel about that? It was fun. It was very tough because the videos were so great. It was tough to choose which one was which. That's awesome, man. So how did you get started YouTubing, and what are you excited about with the new Yum Yum F uh, um, uh, channel? Yeah, yeah. I I'm super excited for season two. Right. It's going to be awesome. And uh, how did I get started? I just found a camera and I started vlogging. I didn't know what to do, what to do when. I, I was just like, all right, I'm going to start this YouTube thing. We'll see where it takes me. Awesome. Now, last question. Do the glasses ever come off? Do they ever? I accidentally super glued onto my face a little while ago, so. Makes sense. I like it. I'm going to shoot to you. Still on the orange carpet right now, we have Dave and Bryce from Funny or Die. Let's make some noise. Dave and Bryce, get over here. Come on, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Funnier dies in the house, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, Funnier dies. Yeah. What is it? No, we have a movie that was on Funnier Die. That oh. 1.3 million views. Oh, uh, just 1.3 million. That's it. Just yeah, four productions. Cool. Drama three four. Drama three four. Okay. Drama three, four. Hi everyone. How are you? Give them another round of applause. They're still on the carpet for us. You guys were guest judges on the first season of Internet Icon. It exploded. Uh, the fans love it. What was that experience like for you? It was great. It was great. I mean, we, we I felt like we kind of crushed some dreams, but uh, they're back here today. They're here for the finale, which, which yeah. is wonderful. We did uh, our job. Yeah. We did our job. We, you know, we came in and judged people harshly. Yeah. And, uh, We're judging all these people now, and they're all doing a great job. <laughs> okay, so what big things can we look for from you guys in the future? Uh, we're working on a new uh, show right now that is an internet show that's also kind of a feature with Ashley Tisdale, um, which is very fun. She's producing, and um, that should be out sometime next year. Uh, and uh, what else? And then we're hoping people watch our... Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? What? The Funnier Die movie. Oh, yeah, and then our Funnier Die movie, Child Celebrities Opposing Kirk Cameron, also called Cock. Yeah, which, <laughs> which we just said in front of children, but we made a movie called Cock. So, you're welcome, children. All right, we're going to put those bleeps in right at that point. Now, make some noise for Christine Lagan and Ryan Higa. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sweating so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ryan, Christine, you guys you had a great first season of Internet Icon. Uh, Hundreds of applicants, top ten, it's down to the final two. How do you guys feel right now that this really happened? I, for one, was not expecting this to be the end. This is crazy. Yeah. Look at this place. Oh, you guys are so awesome. Thank yeah. you guys for coming out. Yes. Yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see who wins. I mean, I have just been, you would think we would know the inside scoop. We have no they idea. They don't tell they don't us, us anything. anything. But, you know, it's down to, like, two amazing people. I mean, like we said, we were just splitting hairs at the end. Everyone, all the talent was so amazing this year. I didn't expect that. And uh, certainly the fans. Like, that's, that's the greatest part. That's the greatest part. All right, so, Ryan, I, just from uh, being on the show and being cut first, uh, no hard feelings, no, but I know that this was, like, one of your long-term dreams to start something on YouTube and watch it flourish like this. How do you feel right now seeing all of this mayhem, craziness, fans throwing? I had somebody throw a sock at me earlier, like, tell Ryan I'm here. I'm like, I don't think he knows you, but this, this is crazy. How do you feel right now? How do, what's going on in your mind? Well, I've always had the dream of you getting hit in the head by a sock. Yes. And, um, of course, just to bring it up, I didn't, you, get, you made the top ten for a reason. You're a funny guy, you know? It's definitely been a dream for me to, to have this whole show idea. And I, after this first season, I just want to do more of it. There's definitely going to be more seasons. I'm just excited for this to grow. You know, I just want this to be bigger than TV. You know, Christine, I know you are so dedicated, uh, quiet as kept. We did a video at Christine's house yesterday. Nobody knows about it, but Christine is the most hospitable celebrity that I have. She invited us in her home. We broke stuff. We drank up all her drinks. We ate all her food. Christine, how important and how special was Internet Icon to you? You know, I've never done anything like this before. Um, I've been in film and television my whole life almost. And uh, to do something where I feel like I, I can help someone else or I can mentor someone else has really just been an amazing opportunity for me. And I, like I said, I never expected we would get the talent we got. But I really feel like what we got on the show is the next wave of writers and directors and filmmakers and storytellers and, and YouTubers. And um, But that's what YouTube is. It's a forum to be able to show your talent. And that's what I think is so great about this show. Yeah. 
Well, I know you guys said that they don't tell you anything, but I can, I think it's safe to say with the outcome tonight and just with the views that we can expect to see a season two. So do we have, do you guys have any secrets, anything that you can let out the bag that we can look forward to on season two of Internet Icon? Um, Throw us a bone. <laughs> Throw us a bone. If, if there is a season two, I think it's going to be exponentially bigger. Exponentially, that's a word, right? Exponentially, exponentially bigger than this past season. Um, I think it's going to be amazing. We have so much more talented people already hitting me up that want to be on it. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. What about you, Kristen? Do you have anything? Anything about judges? Anything about a top 15? I don't know. Do you have anything? I don't have any uh, sort of information about that, but I think I can only imagine like all the videos we went through just for season one. We sat there in a room together. We just met and we sat there going through videos for like five hours. We got to know each other real well. More than that. Five, six hours. And that was just for like, you know, the first round. Um, so I can only imagine like we're going to have to order in a lot of pizza if we go through. And I will have a lot of other hairstyles. <laughs> a lot of other hairstyles. All right, guys. One of the producers of Wong Fu, Mr. Wesley Chan. Bring it on in, Wesley. <laughs> Wesley, you are here at the Internet Icon Season 1 finale. Uh, tell us how it feels to be here right now. It's, this is super exciting. I didn't expect, like, a live audience. I've been following this show online, so seeing actual people here to watch is uh, really cool. And we, we, we really want to support Yam Yam uh, My two partners, uh, Philip and Ted, they can be here, so... I'd love to support. That is awesome, man. Now, I know you guys uh, are really good friends with Ryan. Uh, are we looking at any collaborations in the future? Do we have anything to look for? Can you let the cat out the bag a little bit? Uh, Ryan and us, we, we go back pretty far. And uh, we did this movie with him uh, a few years ago. And, okay. and uh, we'd love to do something again. But, you know, like Ryan, he's like so busy doing his thing. You know, it's not really about wanting because, of course, we want to. It's just about timing. And, I mean, I just talking to Ryan and we're already excited about, you know, trying to do something together again. All right, well, cool, man. Well, I know you do a lot of things, uh, the sketches, the web series, and the movies. Uh, really quick, if a zombie had a first name, what do you think would be a good first name for a zombie? Charles. Charles. Uh, I like Charles. I like Charles. I think Charles. we going to go with Charles. All right, man. Yes. Huh. I'm celebrating because I just got all of those names and I remembered it, and I'm the worst person at names. All right, you are the director on the show Mofo. Uh, King Young Lee and Jonathan, you guys are? Uh, the two leads in it. Yeah, I guess. this guy's yeah. the Mofo. Yeah. And he's the son of the Mo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I am yeah. The very nice, very nice. For those who haven't tuned in yet, tell them a little bit about the show, what they're going to expect, entice them guys, make them want to check it out. Um, I mean, it's, it's really funny and it's crazy. So, I mean, it's some crazy humor. He did an amazing job writing it. And uh, I'm really excited to see the finished product. So. Yeah, give, him the, give him the premise. Uh, well, it's a story about a, a best friend. He falls in love with his best friend's mom. And they get married. And so um, it's just a, it's, it's a, a very delightful comedy about how his best friend deals with this whole thing. And so... Uh, Excellently written by Ari over here, uh, as well as directed by him, and uh, it's it's it's. These guys it's are hysterical, and you're gonna want to check yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, what you guys may not know about Ari is that me and Ari actually used to be neighbors, and this whole show is based on his life and me dating his mom. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. I am the real life Key Hong Lee. I'm kidding, guys. Uh, so tell us the date and times we can catch a uh, mofo. Uh, we are going to be premiering mid-September. Stay tuned for an actual date. All right, well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. On the orange carpet, you got the director and the leads of MoFo. Check it out. It's an awesome show. You're not going to want to miss that. Stay tuned. We're on the orange carpet all night long. All, not all night. It's just today start, then we go on inside. No more orange carpet. But we're here right now getting it going. I hope that was a freeze frame. I hope that was a freeze frame. <laughs> Thanks, guys, so much for coming Thank through. You. No problem, man. So My man. Ah, oh, no, no worries, bro. You know, it's all good, man. I think it's all about him. <laughs> and right now, we have the honor of introducing one of the finalists for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lana McKissick. Come on down on this beautiful orange carpet. Hi, How are you doing, darling? I'm so good now that I see you to hear. <laughs> I bet you tell all of me that all the time. 
How do you feel tonight? You are in the top two. I know. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm a little shaky. I think I had too much Red Bull. I remember the first day, Lana was saying, oh, I don't know how to edit. My boyfriend usually does this for me. And I remember you running in with the mannequin piece by piece, and you were like, whatever. And now we're at the finals, and it's just you and the brothers right there. How does that feel? It feels amazing. I mean, honestly, every single challenge I thought I was going to get sent home, every day I was like, well, this is it for me. It's been fun. So this is a huge shock. I mean, I look at the stuff they make and the stuff the Foo made, the stuff everybody made, and it was like a cinematic masterpiece. And I'm like, how did I end up with these people? But I'm, I'm proud and excited and happy and grateful. You are either a con artist or the most humble person that I've ever met. I haven't figured it out yet. That's what I figured. I figured it was a con artist. Uh, pending you win, what is the first thing you're going to do? Call my mom and say, Mom, I won. Or I'll call my mom and be like, Mom, I lost. And then she'll be like, you've disgraced our family. But we'll see. I'm hoping for the former. I doubt she would ever say you disgraced the family. Lana McKissick, I wish you nothing but the best tonight, and it's always a pleasure to share any carpet or floor or bus stop with you. Thank you so much for coming and gracing our bless and great luck tonight, all right? Thank you. Thank you to hear. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lana McKissick, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're going to be on the orange carpet. I had nothing to say with that finger point. I just pointed. It was all right, I just feel like you're super close on me. I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that, is that what you're supposed to be doing? I don't know what the lens just did. Just something crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the end of the orange carpet. We're at the finals right now. This is going down in real life. And the last people I have coming to this orange carpet are the brothers right there. Brothers right there, come on down. Yes. I want to be in the middle of this sandwich right here. This love sir. He's feeling my pectoral region. Yeah, it's serious right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Brothers Rydell, I remember the first day we were trapped in that room for yeah. 12 hours. Oh, yeah, I remember that too. What was that like for you guys? I will say you were one of the few people that kept us sane throughout it, so we thank you. We I do my best. You, you, you grounded us, Man. for sure. <laughs> You guys had an UNO competition going on. You guys played it so cool the entire time. And I said, as I was exiting, as, it, as, as I got uh, voted off the first night, I said that <laughs> I'm glad it happened now because I didn't want to go head up with these guys. And oh, just like on. I know, seriously, and like I figured, you guys are in the top two. Wow, How does that feel? It feels amazing. You know, we worked really hard for it. We're excited. And it's, it's incredible to be here uh, in the top two. And competing against Lana, who's phenomenal, we're just honored to, to be here, you know? Yeah, it's just a, it's a great feeling, like like my brother was saying, just to be in this with all these great people, and, and it's been such a such a blast, really. All right, man. I really wish I had more time with you guys, but I see them wrapping it up right now. You guys are so wanted everywhere you go. Thank, Thank you. you guys for stopping by and blessing me a little bit. I wish you guys the best of luck. Oh, Congrats you, tonight for making it this far, and I'll see you guys on the other side, man. Right, man. You guys have a great one, now. Right, okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Six oh, nights, six nights. I'm getting yeah. shot. Yeah. 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 Everybody just found out every <laughs> password for my entire fucking life. What? Be quiet. Don't penises. Tell them. I love penises. Three. What? That's just his Wi Fi password. Ah, uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. His Wi Fi password? Yeah!